Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of polynomials, we shall be taking question 1 of NCRT exercise 2.5. The first question is use suitable identities to find the following products. So here what is given to us? Here the factors are given and we have to multiply and get the product. Right. As you can see, all are binomial into binomial. So we have learned about identities which will help us to solving these questions. So let us start with the first question. So the first question is we have to find the product of two factors x plus 4 and x plus 10. These are the two factors. Now, if you compare it with this identity x plus a into x plus b, whose product is x square a plus b in bracket into x and plus a into b. If you compare these two, the factors, if you compare x is what? x, a is 4 over here and b is 10 over here, right? So using this identity, we have to solve it. That means we have to find the product. So the two factors are x plus 4 and x plus 10. And further, we have to put the values in the identity, in the product which is in the form of identity. So x square, that means x whole square, a plus b, that means 4 plus 10 into x and x is x only, so into x. Now a into b, a is 4, b is 10, so 4 into 10. Now accordingly, we shall write the values, solve it and write x square, 4 plus 10, 14x and 4 into 10. 40. So this is the product of the first question. Now second question. In second question we are having two factors x plus 8 and x minus 10. Now if you compare it with this identity x is x over here, a is 8 over here, b is minus 10. Remember then when the identity is all plus we have to take minus inside the bracket, right? Now, according to the factors, the product is this, right? Now, we shall put the values. x is x, so x square. a plus b, that means 8 plus. Now, b is minus 10. So, put, the, put it in the bracket because minus sign is there. So, put it in the bracket into x. Now, a into b. a is 8, b is minus 10. So accordingly put them also in the bracket because when we'll open the bracket all the signs will change automatically. Now x square, right? x square is x square. 8 mi plus into minus is minus, right? So 8 minus 10 is minus 2. So minus 2x we will get. Now 8 into minus 10 is minus 80 and outside it is plus. So plus into minus, minus, minus 80. So this is the product. Right. Now in the third part, we have factors 3x plus 4 into 3x minus 5. Now if you compare it with identity x plus a into x plus b, the product is x square a plus b into x plus ab. Now accordingly, when we compare it, x is our 3x over here, a is our 4 over here, b is our minus 5. As I already told you, if in the factors we have minus sign, but the identity is all plus. So over here, minus will be taken inside the bracket, right? Now over here, let us put the values in the product. Product says first is x square. And what is our x? x is 3x. So 3x whole square plus a is 4, b is minus 5 into x. x is what? Again, 3x. So into 3x. Again, a is 4, b is minus 5. So 4 into minus 5. And outside, remember, you have to put plus sign because in the identity, we have all plus sign. Now let us solve 3x whole square. That means 3 square also we have to do and x ka square also we have to calculate. So 3x whole square is 9x square. Now 4 minus 5 is minus 1 right it will give you minus 1 outside we have 3x so basically we will multiply by 3 so we will get minus 3 into x and now plus is there minus over here plus and minus will give you minus 4 into 5 20 or you can say 
plus 4 into minus 5 is minus 20. Right. So, this is our product. Now, next part. In the next part, we have y square plus 3 by 2, y square minus 3 by 2. Now, one is a plus b, another is a minus b. As you can see, there are only two terms which are used, y square and 3 by 2. Right. So, we are using third identity, a plus b into a minus b, which is a square minus b square. Now, what is A? If you compare this fa these factors in the identity with the factors which are given to us, A is your y square, B is your 3 by 2, right? Now, in third identity, because the already the minus sign is being taken by the identity, so you need not include minus sign with B, okay? Because already in the identity, minus sign is there. Why we, are, we were using uh, minus B? over here why we were including minus with the factor because our identity had all plus okay that's why we were taking minus inside the bracket over here no need to do that because identity itself has minus sign uh, all this has been explained in the previous videos you can check from there okay now let us get back to the question so a is y square b is 3 by 2 Right now, put it in the identity a square minus b square. So, accordingly, a square is what y square. Okay, y square ka square. So, you have to do y square whole square. Then, b is 3 by 2. So, 3 by 2 whole square. Right now, y square into square means you have to multiply the powers 2 into 2, 4, and uh, 3 square and 2 square. You will get 9 by 4. So, the product is y raised to power 4 minus 9 by 4. Now, similarly, we have the fifth part also. Here we have 3 minus 2x and 3 plus 2x, which we can interchange and just write 3 plus 2x, 3 minus 2x, just to match with the identity. Even if you don't write, it doesn't matter. So, now you have, what is your a? If you match the factors with the equation which is given, a is 3 and b is 2x. Again, say in identity 3, we need not take the minus sign into consideration because the minus sign is already there with the identity. So, no need to include minus with B. Now, over here, A square minus B square. So, let us start. A square is 3 square. B square is 2x whole square. 3 square is 9. 2 square and also x square. As I told you over here, 3 square and x square. In the same way over here, you will do 2 square as well as x square. So, accordingly, you are getting 3 square is 9 and 2 square, uh, 2 x whole square is 4 x square. Okay, so you have what you have done 2 ka square also that is 4 and x ka square that is 4 x square. So, that is how you get 4 x square. So, this is the product of this, uh, these factors, right? So, this is it children. Hope you have understood question 1. In the next video, I will be taking question 2. Thank you everyone. Have a great day ahead.